Hello everyone! For a lot of you, today marks the beginning of winter break, and along with it is coming a brand new redstone weapon. And so because it's winter break, that means for most of you it's going to be really quite cold out, maybe even snowing. And of course it's important to keep yourself nice and warm and comfy, and today you're in luck, because today's redstone weapon is going to make things really quite warm and toasty. Yeah, I mean, look at this guy. He's just, uh, he's really enjoying the heat right now. Ooh, he may have enjoyed the heat uh, a little too much there. So what exactly kind of weapon are we going to be building today? Well, to answer that, we need to go back just a few months. So quite a while ago, I designed this weapon, the Flying Fortress. Now, if you saw the video on the Flying Fortress, you may remember that one of the features was that this blaze right here would begin to target you in survival mode and it would shoot fireballs at you which would eventually, once they fire, they would go down, hit the trees, and start forest fires. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is taking that concept from the Flying Fortress and taking it to a whole new, much more destructive level. So to start off, we're going to need a bit more firepower. Here's one blaze right here, right behind me, and he's going to fire occasionally just one volley of uh, fire charges, and those are going to go off, occasionally hit some trees and stuff, and it is it does work, but it's not the fastest thing in the world. Let's see just how much faster three blazes are. Alright, let's see, they're starting to fire up, and any moment now- oh! Yeah, that is significantly faster, but not quite fast enough. Let's try five blazes. This is looking really menacing. Let's see how fast they are. Alright, so these two are starting to power up, and- oh! Oh, that is good. That is good. That is so fast. So one other major problem with this is we have to constantly have fire resistance on ourselves. otherwise the moment the blazes start firing, then this is gonna happen. So you could just gear yourself up with an endless supply of fire resistance potions, but I wanted to find a more survival friendly solution to this problem. Unfortunately, this proved to be quite difficult. So the first most obvious solution was just to stand in a block of water like this would be fairly simple. Unfortunately, this did not work at all. My next solution was just to stand behind a couple blocks of glass, but the blazes apparently just could not be bothered to attack. Getting desperate, I tried encasing myself in a glass box, and the blazes still just did not care. Eventually, after nearly giving up, I found a really quite strange solution, where if you put a bunch of armor stands in yourself, the blazes just cannot do anything. It doesn't make much sense, given that the armor stands are made out of wood and clearly have really big gaps between them, but you know what? It works. So we're going with it. So with that all out of the way, it's time to begin designing the weapon itself. Alright, so let's go ahead and give this our first test. Here's what the uh, the flying machine looks like so far. And we're going to be standing right here behind the armor stand, set ourselves into survival. And pretty soon the blazes will catch fire, they'll start firing at us. And we'll find out just how accurate they are. Oh, that's kind of a problem because actually the armor stands are absorbing some of their fireballs. So there's a small issue that I wasn't really expecting. The blazes are too accurate. So I've come up with a solution to the problem, I moved the armor stands a little bit closer together, so now the blazes still were not able to hit us, although their fire is significantly less accurate than it was before. So my idea for this is to have multiple sets of blazes that fire at different distances. So back here are the long range blazes that as you can see they shoot their fire way back there. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and add a second layer of blazes at a higher angle so that they'll hit stuff closer to us. Alright, I've gone ahead and added in a second row of blazes up top, and they are the short range blazes, and they're going to fire significantly faster, uh, and also hit stuff closer to us. So there's their volley. Oh, apparently they can hit me, but as you can see, they are hitting stuff closer to us. And here we have the finished design. I've gone ahead and cleaned a few things up, I've changed out the honey blocks for these chains just because I think they look a little bit better, and also added some iron blocks, so let's see if this thing is actually going to move. Now I haven't really tested this, so this is my first time actually seeing whether I did everything right, but let's see, there it goes. It's working! It's actually working! So let's go ahead and climb in right here, behind these armor stands. We're going to set ourselves into survival mode, and blazes should start attacking stuff. I cleared out all the fire from before, and look at that! Look at how much fire just rains down over the forest. So here comes the next volley right about now. And it just does so much damage. Well now that the design for this weapon is all done, let's see it in action.
Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that fiery destruction montage. This weapon will of course be going in the redstone weapon world, so if you do want to play for it for yourself, go ahead and download the latest updated version in the description and have fun. But anyways, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and for now, goodbye.